all of the grades that you see attributed to the prospects in this video will be coming directly from our football game plan scouting prospect rankings videos where you can check out all 532 prospect rankings on our website at footballgameplan.com slash FBGP scouting. It seems as if the Indianapolis Colts are in constant search for offensive linemen and or better defensive players in the draft. Their 2017 NFL draft class, in my opinion, was an impressive haul that filled a lot of needs throughout the roster. Zach Banner of USC played right tackle for the Trojans, but I feel as though he best projects as a guard in the NFL. Either way, he adds to the depth up front. Marlon Mack out of South Florida helps instantly as a retirement because of his great acceleration and speed. Nate Harrison was a good pick because of his upside as he's still learning the nuances of the position, having played receiver at one point in time at Temple. Anthony Walker Jr. provides quality depth at the second level. The Colts hit home runs with their first three selections in the NFL draft. They grabbed arguably the best free safety in the draft in Malik Hooker out of Ohio State, who has tremendous range and ball skills. That's something they sorely lacked on defense last season. Quincy Wilson was a solid counterpart at corner for the Florida Gators, and I'm a big fan of his press skills and his ability to pin receivers to the sidelines. He can step in and be a day one starter opposite Vontae Davis. Terrell Basham out of Ohio plays with great length and was a highly disruptive player for the Bobcats. He's also able to use that length to clog up rushing lanes and affect the quarterback in the pocket. Grover Stewart is another really good pickup for the Colts. He has great ball get off and can play any one of the positions on the interior up front. He dominated the SIAC and the Vision 2 as a whole. Indianapolis landed one of the most underrated quarterback prospects in the draft in Phillip Walker out of Temple. He immediately becomes the second best quarterback on the roster. Walker plays a pro game coming out of a pro style offense at Temple where he holds the all time leading passing yards mark, touchdowns, and also completion percentage, and he led the Owls to their first conference championship since 1967. He's a very good decision maker, plays the situation really well, and is also a fearless player versus pressure. He's going to impress a lot of people with his play in preseason. Continuing to add quality depth up front, both Jerry Gokwe out of William & Mary and Deshaun Bond out of Cincinnati fit that description. Bond also has the ability to play guard. Al Riles of Louisiana was a former linebacker who became the most consistent receiving option for the Raging Cajuns over the last two seasons. I'm a big fan of his toughness over the middle of the field and what he can do after the catch with the ball in his hands. Two other talented receiving options in Arizona's Trey Griffey, who was excellent at the East-West Shrine game, showing the ability to consort his body to make the acrobatic catch. And North Carolina's Bug Howard, who has been a consistent player for the Tar Heels for what seems to be a 10-year career. All three wide receivers, in my opinion, have a chance to make the roster. Defensively, Dante Blackman out of Kennesaw State graded out really high for me because of his awareness and ball skills. Blackman shows great closing speed on the ball and has the hands of a wide receiver when the ball is in his vicinity. Tyson Graham was a strong safety for South Dakota, and I can see him transitioning into, an, into a nickel linebacker role as a pro. He has good athleticism and does a great job in playing the outside run. I gave the Colts an A for their draft. Not only did they improve their defense with day one impact type talents, they also cleaned up in the undrafted free agent market as well by getting bona fide talents across the board on both sides of the ball.